Hi everybody, welcome back to Meconomics. Remember my Mazda Miata, the car that started this channel off way back in 2015? Well, I have a really fun update about that car. So a few months ago, the current owner of that same 1997 Mazda Miata that I used to own got in touch with me via Instagram. He sent me a few photos of what the car looks like now and gave me a bunch of updates. The car looks awesome, and I'll show you guys some photos of it in just a few seconds. First, I want to go back to 2016 when I was first selling the Miata. I had a few offers on the table. One offer was from a dad who wanted a fun car to work on with his son. And the other offer was from a guy who owned a body shop who wanted to put some kind of kit on the car and then flip it. The second guy offered to beat the dad's offer, but I was feeling sentimental and I really liked the idea of selling my Miata to a father and son since I knew it would be treated well and hopefully bring some joy to a nice family. So that's why I sold it to that dad, even though it might not have been the absolute best price I could have gotten. The person that currently owns the car turns out to be the son of that dad that I sold it to. His name is Caden, and as it turns out, he has done an excellent job of documenting the life of this Miata. He's taken some great photos of it, and here's what it looks like today. It's really interesting to see how much the car has transformed from when I first got it. Personally, I don't like doing a ton of modifications to my cars. I typically like the OEM look with maybe a few enhancements here or there. Most of the mods that I would be interested in are also more towards the overland slash rally car look. The only things I ever did to the Miata were add a wood shift knob, put steel rims with winter tires on the look, and as a side note, I really like the steel rim look, even though it is kind of a bit of a janky thing. Call me crazy, but I think it's cool in kind of a rugged way. And I added some Hawk brake pads. The Miata is a great platform for all kinds of modifications though. Certainly better than my Cayman is. And even though it's not what I would have done to the car, I actually really, really like what Caden has done. I think it looks amazing. I asked Caden a few more questions and learned some interesting tidbits. Caden has already invested $3,500 to $4,000 in the Miata, which is more than what I sold it for, but you can really see where that investment has gone. Caden said that he's been into cars since he was in grade school. Apparently the NA Miata was a top pick for his first car, which is awesome because I always recommend an NA Miata whenever somebody asks me what they should buy for their first car. I even made a whole video about why it's the perfect first car, which you should definitely check out after this. But when his dad bought the Miata, he had no idea what he was getting into. Caden had an entertaining anecdote where on his first day of junior year in high school, he overheard a group of girls saying, I can't believe somebody is driving that to high school. What is that car? Now, I never had an interesting car in high school, but apparently it's a great car for a high school guy's street cred. The way I had the car is definitely more subtle, but I can totally see how the way it looks now would definitely attract a lot more attention. Right now, the Miata is used mostly as a weekend and summer car since Caden is a student at NIU and doesn't want to keep it on campus year round. But it seems like it's still getting lots of good use, which I love to see. He managed to replace a lot of the parts on the car that were rusty and kind of run down when I owned it. So keeping the car away from the snow and salt seems like a good priority for him right now. I asked Caden what he enjoys most about the Miata and here's what he said. The thing I love most about it is how different it is from any other car that is in my life. All of the cars in my neighborhood, as well as those in my family, are significantly newer and different in styling and form. It's the oddest feeling going from a soft Lexus to a super low and stiff 23-year-old Miata. The sounds that the car makes now that there's a header back exhaust, as well as the very frequent thumbs up I get, also make for a really fun ownership experience. For now, Caden says the build of the Miata is pretty much complete. There might be a few more modifications or adjustments, but there's not much more that can be done to improve it without significantly more expensive work. He does plan to keep it for a couple more years though while he saves up for the next upgrade. Caden says he's interested in going for a Corvette C606 or a Honda S2000 as the next vehicle. Both seem like logical upgrades from a Miata. It seems like, similar to me, the Miata is pretty much perfect except for the low power of the engine. Interestingly, he didn't have any complaints about the NVH of the car, which was one of the main reasons why I eventually got tired of driving it so much. 
Maybe that's because he has a separate daily driver though, whereas in my case, the Miata was my daily driver. Some of the modifications that Caden has done include, but aren't limited to, a new front lip, welded exhaust tip, new Carbo Evolution X seats, new Robins Panorama soft top, a new short throw shifter, new front strut brace, new headlights with LED bulbs, new SRT touring tires, new 14x7 rims, new Brembo rotors and pads, a new Sparco quick release, and so much more. He shared a whole document on Google Drive with me with all the different updates and improvements, and I'll post a screenshot of that here. So even though I never would have thought to do all this to my Miata, honestly, it probably hasn't looked this good or driven this good since it left the showroom floor. I'm definitely into it so far, and I'm looking to see what other changes Caden might make in the future. Anyways, I'm really happy to see how well my Miata is doing. I know it's just a machine at the end of the day, but I will always have an emotional connection to it because it was the first car that I ever bought. It got a very nice glam up and improved performance for someone who is also a true car enthusiast. I want to thank Caden for all the great info and photos he provided. You can find him at Caden0313 on Instagram to see more of the Miata. I also want to thank all of you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate every one of you and I'll see you guys in the next one.